Hello and welcome to On the Outside, the podcast that shares diverse views on outdoors news. My name is Francesca Tarowskis. I am the producer of On the Outside. I'm recording this on Thursday, the 14th of April 2022, and this is the latest outdoor news roundup. This month is Ramadan, and several athletes and grassroots organisations have been calling on events to be more inclusive of Muslims who observe the holy month. For Muslims across the globe, the 30 days of Ramadan are a sacred time for worshipping involving fasting and prayer. But it's been highlighted that many high-profile running races often take place during Ramadan. The Manchester Marathon and Great Birmingham Run are both this month, and next year the London Marathon will also be during the holy month. People are calling for events organisers to work more closely with communities to organise their calendars. On a positive note, Muslim hikers hosted their first Ramadan hike and iftar last weekend in the Peak District. They worked alongside the National Trust team to welcome more than 80 attendees who all did a short hike before breaking their fast with a meal in the park after sunset. The Wanderlust women also had a successful Ramadan hiking event on the 10th of April. The main sponsor of a major cycling race, the Women's Cycle Classic, has withdrawn his funding in reaction to British cycling's new rules on transgender participation. Peter Stanton withdrew his £15,000 of support after British Cycling announced it was suspending its transgender policy, effectively banning transgender riders from competing in women's races. Two groups that campaign for trans exclusion have made a formal offer to back the race instead. I'll try to keep you updated on this one in the newsletter. Leaving the UK for a moment and heading to Ireland, the Minister for Environment, Climate and Communications, Eamon Ryan, has announced a ban on the small-scale commercial selling of turf from September 1st, 2022. It comes as part of the ban on carbon-high fuels. Peat turf is the surface layer of soil and turf cutting for use as heating in homes is a traditional activity across many peatlands and rural communities in Ireland. The Irish Rural Link, a national network representing the interests of rural communities, has said the ban is, quote, an unrealistic measure to impose on rural households. But research shows that undisturbed peatland traps almost twice as much carbon as forests, despite covering just 3% of the Earth's surface. The Sporting Pride Conference is taking place in Birmingham on the 23rd of April. This is a unique one-day conference bringing together the LGBTQ plus sport and physical activity sector. LGBTQ plus networks of national governing bodies, sport and physical activity groups and those interested in developing their own NGB networks and clubs will get to take part in networking, learning opportunities, clinics, workshops and social sessions. The event is for all of those engaged in LGBTQ plus inclusion in sport. The campaign group Right to Rome have announced a Kinder in Colour event for the 90th anniversary of the Kinder Scout Trespass. The 24th of April marks 90 years since hikers and members of the Young Communist League took part in a mass trespass on Kinder Scout to highlight the fact that walkers in England and Wales were denied access to areas of open country. Now Right to Rome is marking the anniversary by gathering together black and people of colour communities from around England. They will take part in a joyful march of song and ceremony to take up space, be seen and forge a vision of a new English countryside based not on exclusion but inclusion. Friends of the Earth have announced a grant to support local nature projects – The Local Nature Innovation Fund will provide grants of up to £1,000 to local community groups who are aiming to protect or restore nature, create a healthier environment for their community or reconnect people to nature. You can find out more through the link on our website. 
And lastly, April the 30th is local bike shop day. Participating stores will be hosting a wealth of activities on the day, from bike appraisals to puncture repair courses. You can find out more and see what is going on in your local area on their website, localbikeshopday.co.uk. That's all the stories from me for today. But just before I go, my initial idea behind these roundups was to provide facts without any of my opinions or calls to action. But British Cycling's decision also comes on the back of the ECHR guidance on single sex spaces that provided examples of instances where trans people could be barred and excluded from such spaces. And the British government's decision to keep conversion therapy legal for trans people. So I do have some calls to action for you. Firstly, you can, of course, email your MP, specifically telling them why you think the ban on conversion therapy should protect all people, including trans. The link for that is in the show notes. And if you are a member of a sporting community, however big or small, please make sure you have your own policies that are explicitly inclusive. Because if you're not including trans people... I honestly don't know where you're expecting them to go. And if that brings up pushback from members of your community, have those hard conversations about where that kind of concern is actually coming from and should really be directed. Thank you for listening today. If you have thoughts on these stories or you think I've missed anything, you can email them to me at ontheoutsidepod at gmail.com and I will try to put it into the newsletter. Until next time, take care.